Hello there everybody, Longhard Richard here, and I'm making a video with me playing Smite as Thanatos, actually. Um, I am, with this gameplay, I've, I was, I recorded it with my DVR function in Shadowplay, and um, one problem with it is that I lost the first few minutes of gameplay. The first four minutes and 30 seconds, pretty much. And, oh well, I'm pretty sure I got the majority of those eight kills you see there because my teammates really were useless in this game play game mode but in the end you'll see a pretty nice little figure very briefly and I'm pretty sure you'll get the theme of everything throughout this gameplay as well as yeah, everything that I was capable of doing with Thanatos um, Thanatos is an assassin character that is very, very high DPS based. Compared to other gods like Kali and all that, he actually does more damage than them. Um, but there's a big trade-off which keeps him from being a tier 1 and I'm pretty sure he's not even a tier 2. Um, he is very very vulnerable he can die very very quickly he doesn't have very many defenses and he doesn't have very many moves to help him run away for example his number two is an ability that increases his movement speed makes him immune, immune to slow and increases his defenses very slightly like some magical and physical defense up or it's just magical not sure right at as this moment and that really isn't enough for a lot of players out there a lot of players are very reliant on their jump abilities so that they can do whatever they want and then run away really quickly with a big jump boost With uh, Thanatos, the only jump boost you're ever going to get is his ultimate. So very similar to um, Thor, Thor's ability. Very, very similar to that, where he can just hop. Um, his ultimate makes him go up in the air and target down anyone he wants. That's a bit of a problem. Very big problem, actually. Because you don't want to really waste an ultimate if you have to run away, unless if you absolutely need it. But if you play him well and you do something like that, you should be able to give yourself clear openings to be able to run away. It's very possible. You just have to get used to a different sort of gameplay. Um, yeah, you just have to change your idea of what an assassin can do if you don't have the uh, jumping away ability so you can make sure that you're guaranteed going to run away safely. Thanatos really requires you to hang back a little bit more than any other assassin just because he can't run away properly. I'm surprised Ymir got that kill. Looked like the other guy almost ran away. And as you can see right here, even though Nemesis was attacking me, she wasn't nearly strong enough to be able to damage me yet, luckily. And even though there's only 14 kills in the game, everybody knew at this point that I was a very hard, well, a very big target, target that they needed dead. So Cecilia really wants to push on me sometimes. And I unfortunately had to do what I said you don't want to do is waste your ultimate. But overall, it did help. Because in this game, I actually went 28 and 0. So that's really, really big. It's a really, really uh, big thing in this game being able to not contribute to the enemy's gold production. You really don't want to die as much as possible. 
because every time you die, the enemy gets a shit ton of gold and a lot of experience and a lot of levels because of that. So, me going 28 and 0 means that almost all faults of my team is not me. I got a few assists as well, but not nearly as many as I could. I didn't know that Cecilia's uh, move right there slowed people down. Because my little uh, sword there activated so that I wouldn't be slowed down. It's weird. I didn't know about that. Um, out of all of the assassins, Thanatos' damage is probably in the top three. Which is really, really nice for my type of gameplay. Because I sort of sit on the sidelines a lot. But I also do push it. A lot of pushing for uh, for an assassin. And minion kills. I really go for minion kills. Well, if my teammate doesn't, anyway. We don't really have... Uh, our Ymir isn't doing a lot of pushing. And I'm pretty sure... Yep. Athena's getting angry again. She got three alt alts, but... And she's talking about me watching there, but my cooldowns, well, my abilities were all cooling down, so I couldn't do a whole lot. Other than basic attacks, I could have done that. But that means that I'm going to put myself in a big disadvantage, and you don't want to do that, Smite, or any MOBA. Don't purposely put yourself at a disadvantage, or you're very likely going to lose your uh, little bet. Go in when you have the advantage and pretty much only then. Unless if you can pretty much guarantee yourself the exit. And as Thanatos, you don't really have very many exits other than run. And right there. A nice little push. We got Cecilia. And Ravana's gonna die there now too. So even though I don't have very many out abilities, I can definitely run away. Definitely. It's not something that's hard to do. You just have to sort of think of it. You don't have to rely, don't rely on your abilities to allow you to escape. You have relics and you have lots of other stuff that can help you. And that's what I do with Thanatos. I sort of rely more on what I can buy, and movement speed. A more basic type of running away. And if you can do that well, you can run away from any situation where you might die. Which allowed me to keep my zero deaths. Other than one time when I had to use my ultimate. If you can master that type of gameplay, you might be able to do wonders with Thanatos. Just make sure you don't die insanely. And Thanatos should be nice to you. Right there, my... Oh, almost died, but then again, my number two there is... Um, it makes me immune to slow, so... I'm, I'm half health, so I wasn't able to go into the middle of the fray there. I don't know why I used my ultimate. That was a little bit of a dumb move. I didn't even get the hit. And Ravana tried targeting me there really quickly. One thing that Soul didn't remember right there is to zigzag. <laughs> Facebook notification. But, oh well. Um, what's that? I might no I didn't kill that person. No way I ran all the way over there. My number one ability, although it, it even though it does an insane amount of damage, it also replenishes a very good amount of health. So it has like life steal attached to it. Stop. 
Man, Facebook. It's not me right now with Facebook. It's uh, previously. <laughs> oh, I'm not. That doesn't. That wasn't that much damage. I'm guessing that the Cupid was going for attack speed rather than damage, which would make sense. A lot of people do that with a Cupid because their basic attacks will be insane for damage later on in the game if you do that. A few other gods that I like to play as would be like Sobek and Oplosh. Mainly those two and Kukula Khan. For when I need to play a mage, usually I'll go Oplosh or Kukula Khan. I've been playing Kali a little bit. I'm pretty sure I have some gameplay coming up of her um, in a later video. Currently, my teammates died 20 times. And I pretty much got 20 kills. Probably a little bit more. Athena's really spamming the chat. I really wish people didn't do that, but people like that exist. Soul died. And I it was better to focus on Silly right there. But I'm an assassin. There's no way I'm going to let somebody with that low of health get away. Ravana can't take me out like how he is. I could easily deal with him solo. Pretty sure my DPS will completely tank how much any advantage Ravana has over uh, me as an, uh, an, as an assassin. At this point, anyway. Um, I'm not going to let him get away, am I? No, there's no way. Yeah. Ooh, that was a nice timing. But definitely was going to get him. <laughs> 29 to 23. Where probably 24 are mine. And Cecilia right there, being a little bit greedy, using her ult for whatever reason. And there. Kali got one of my kills there. That sucks. But oh well. I could have went 29 and 0. One time I went 33 and 0, but that game was way too long for it to matter with using DVR. I think that match lasted like 25 minutes, so I would have lost the very first 10 minutes of game footage rather than four and a half. So I just didn't bother recording that one. And Ravana there. My one ability wasn't doing too much to him. It's enough. Why did she do that? And I wasn't going to allow. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want Ymir to get that kill. Ymir was playing way too bad for me to give him the gratitude of an extra kill. That teammate there's Athena. Athena was very, very annoying. And I heard uh, Cilia being, a, or Skilly, I don't know how to pronounce her. Yeah, I'm going to kill her. Cupid is an annoying god to be up against because he runs away really, really well. But when you have a damage like me, you can deal with him. And Ravana's, as I said, an easy one to deal with. So that's a triple kill for me. <laughs> nice little way to end. Well, actually, it's not the end yet. Even though Ymir's here, I can just fuck off and go for the final kill. Or, yeah, they were. My teammates were really greedy there. Really, really greedy. And right there, 28, 0, and 7 assists.
<laughs> well, it was I'm glad that I was able to show you this footage, and I guess I'll see y'all in the next one.